Today's Loud House episode was requested by Pugsley Arnold. White hair. It's the second episode of the third season, but overall 103rd episode of The Loud House. Oh my god! This episode is an abandoned concept of a family being a family of rabbits. Like Chris Savannah, he attended the show to be in the first, the beginning when he wanted to start at The Loud House. But although... There were more sisters than just I mean, 10 girls. In fact, Lincoln Loud's character, Rabbit's character, was supposed to start with a different letter while the rest of the sisters started with the letter B. But oh my god, I cannot believe an episode actually happened from an abandoned comp set that Chris Savannah was going to do. Let's take a look at this. It all began with Lincoln ha has planned to introduce himself to a new girl at school as he's all... As he all stunned up with a leather jacket, some jade, some slick shades, his hairstyle looking something like I can't even argue with, and even a temporary tattoo. And he has a few books that feature a few slang. But as Lincoln is preparing to leave without his sisters trying to catch him, which he's very not good at, they catch him anyway. He tries to convince him that he doesn't want any of their help like the last time. It's probably my best to not even remind anyone what this episode was from. Nonetheless, Lincoln manages to escape his own sisters and run straight into the woods as he meets a young white rabbit somewhere, and he has about at least, wait, 25? 25 sisters? <coughs> and Lincoln is imagining how difficult it would be if he had 15 extra sisters. He gets startled and he hits his own head, causing him to hallucinate and pass out. This may look like the episode started all over again, but now it's Lincoln, who's now a rabbit named Warren. And he tries to leave the house, but he's caught by 25 of his sisters. And like the same thing from, from before, they try to convince him that he shouldn't have to change his own self or where he should be. And the sisters, they cause chaos as much as the other sisters do as when they're human beings. And this part gets so funny because the character you hear talking, it exactly sounds just like the 10 sisters that we know of. I mean, listen to this one. Tell us everything about her. And this one. I hate her already. And this one. Yes, you do. By my calculations, the chances of you successfully courting said new girl without our help are an abysmal 25 to 1. And do I have to remind anyone about who that one really is? What's the use? Life's just an endless stretch of misery, occasionally brightened by despair. But by God, they all just sound... They all just sound the same as much as the Loud Sisters do. Lori, Lanny, Lu Luann, Luna, and you know how the rest goes. And Luna's character, Pippa, she says one of the old famous Disney characters' catchphrase. Can you guess who it was? Yeah! What's the sitch? So what's the sitch? If you guessed it right, I would so put you on my team. But eventually, Warren gets caught by them, and they change his appearance. Giving her some such a lavender shirt and a bunch of source assortment of items such as books, a cow of smoothie, some kind of test pad, and is that a rabbit's foot? Why would anyone even need that? But I can painlessly guarantee you about where this is all gonna go to end. So Warren meets this new girl, in the, meets this new rabbit girl in the forest, and things just make him quite nervous, and it doesn't go quite so much planned out until another rabbit shows up, looking cool and more styling, like like a grease kit character oh and i forgot to mention that his buddy clyde is actually a beaver named danny in this one and yep he's almost exactly the same as the as clyde is having a crush on betty who's obviously lloyd's counterpart and I... by the way you see the outfit that she wears in this episode it's similar to another Loud House episode called No Guts, No Glory. But then again, Warren suddenly falls over and faints, hallucinating once more. And now we're back to Lincoln Loud who wakes up and discovers that the male rabbit is being smothered by his sisters. And somehow, 25 of them made him make a good expression on the new rabbit in the forest. And Lincoln thinks that he might have, that his sisters might have some advice for him that they might want to help him out with. Nonetheless, he's got five minutes left before the bus even gets arrived. 
It made you quickly rush back home to get his sisters to help him out so much. But despite so much effort that Lincoln's getting, the sisters tell him that they just want him just to be himself. I mean, listen to all this, what they had to say to him. You're kind. You're fashionable. You're rocking. You're funny. You're tough. You're deep. You're friendly. You're smart. You think yeah. <laughs> that was real cute of Lily just saying his name Lincoln loud. So Lincoln takes it on himself and he decides just to be himself. Like usual, I mean, honestly, some people just don't want to be themselves for once, but Lincoln here on the other hand, he is who he is. So ditch the jacket, ditch the shades, fix his hair, and puts back his own casual orange shirt outfit. That's the Lincoln we all know and love. So he makes it to the bus, and yet he still manages to make a good impression as the new girl. And they just head straight off to school as the two young rabbits head off into the sunset. And you'll never guess who this new girl might be. This episode was really good. I mean, honestly, this would have been Chris Sabano's actual work from the actual show if all the characters were different animals, especially the loud kids. They would all be rabbits. I would like to see how the parents would actually look in this. Oh, by the way, none of the parents didn't show up in this episode at all. Uh? Lynn and Rita never showed in this episode because originally parents were actually going to be talking off screen and we weren't even going to be allowed to see them from the first comp set to begin with. It went from not seeing them to seeing them, but not actually seeing their faces at all. Considering it got like 1.61 million views on this episode. Oh my gosh, this actually made me feel so much better when I actually saw it. If they were actually like this way to begin with. Not that I have a problem with it. I love it just the way it is. I mean, it is what it is. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And is it just me, or do some of these rabbit characters assemble to the Care Bears? Care a lot, it's a rainbow fantasy For laughing out loud Care a lot, it's a place we all can go For laughing and singing I want to die You know, that would actually make something a little bit better than the actual Care Bears movie Considered being all too cutesy and shit, these kind of rabbit characters would actually heighten a movie like that a little bit more better with more experience and more laughs that we can get out of it. And plus, it would be for the whole family instead of just for kids. And ironically speaking, this somehow goes to the peanuts about how them, the way the new girl is unseen to the viewers. It's similar to uh, the little redhead girl who is also a new girl who you could might see in the peanuts movie. And here's a funny reference I bet some of you guys never caught, or maybe some people have. This episode brings a reference to the cartoonist Matt Grain, who is the creator and director of The Simpsons, which one of his works was Life in Hell, whose protagonists are usually rabbits. Yeah, I'm clearly shocked to find that out as much as you guys are. It's not my kind of favorite episode, but I will add it to one of my honorable mentions. Considering how this was an original idea that Chris Savannah was going to go with, but everybody else just loves this episode. It's just that damn good. And I can almost tell it guarantee why. By the way, Lincoln's doll Bun Bun, the little bunny doll that he has, was a resemble to one of Chris Savannah's idea when he was going to have the characters be rabbits. But instead, all of them were human. And he actually made a doll for Lincoln Loud named Bun Bun. So, do any of you either wish to be rabbits or would you rather wish to stay human?